basic color correction. We're going to take this shot right here we see in the upper right corner of a stand up and we're going to just color correct it a little bit to see if we can't make it pop a little bit and get it into broadcast safe colors. I'm in Adobe Audition CS6. CC has uh, some of the newest stuff as of this recording. CC is kind of the latest edition. But here's CS6. I'm going to use the plugins that are based right in this program. My table's a little squeaky. So if you hear that, I do apologize. Let's get started though. So we have the shot here in the upper right corner. And I am actually in the default color correction workspace. Alt Shift 2 if you want to get there quickly. And here's my shot. First I'm going to do, I want to make sure it's in broadcast safe. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down and change my reference monitor to YC waveform. So when you're in YC waveform, you want to look in this right meter on the right hand side. It tells you your highest peak and your lowest. So your whitest whites and your darkest darks. Broadcast safe for digital is between 100 and 0. A little bit over, you know, on certain little things, but you don't want to crush it. I have deselected setup IRE, that is the analog safe zone, and I have unselected chroma, I've up my intensity 100%. So first I'm going to go ahead and grab my, usually use a luma curve, you can use a luma curve at first and just play with the lumina, luminance without adjusting any color. So here from the luma curve I can bring down on the scale here, ups, midtones, highlights, shadows in the bottom. So I've dropped my curve and it came down to 100. Now I'm going to bring this up to zero. And there we can see if I do a horizontal split, that was before, and that was after. Let's go ahead and go to vertical drop down okay so on the left side is what I've changed it to the right side is what it was so you might be thinking alright well the right side here it looks you know better here it's a little darker here you got more overcast kind of color cast going essentially what we've did we put it in broadcast safe via this curve right here. Now we can put a little S curve in here to kind of separate our midtones. So just click, kind of drag this around to see how you how you like it. I'm going to crush everything, no detail, to spread it out nicely. Usually just a little S curve does the trick. You don't want to make it too dark because you want to leave all that detail in there. So again, the one on the right versus the one on the left. So we still have some color cast going on. And that's okay because we haven't done any color correction yet. And you can tell that by going to your vector scope, turning on and off the luma curve. The colors haven't really changed at all, just brightness and contrast. So now I'm going to bring in my RGB curves. Actually, I'll go with that last. Let's do my fast color corrector. Now here, I can go back to RGB Parade and see what's going on. Everything looks pretty good. It's all about the same. Maybe blues are a little bit much. We have a little bit too much blue in here. You can sell this by it's kind of crushed a bit. Greens are a little high as well. So you want to get these kind of even. A little oversaturation going on. So you know what, let's not do fast color corrector, let's get a little bit more detailed with it. Just delete that effect. There we go. Collapse this. 
We want to make sure we're white balanced for his uh, skin tone. So we can easily do that by, we'll get back to the color correction, but we're going to start color correcting with the skin. Drop a crop on here. Crop down to the face. We can kind of do a, uh, if we do 100%, Kind of get closer. Get some good skin. There we go. So we can see our scale over here is all over the place. If we go grab the vector scope, just a little bit red. Now it is cold out in this setting. Our skin's probably going to be a little bit more red than usual, so having it perfect isn't too bad. This is actually pretty darn good words out right now. The camera that this was shot with is just a handheld Canon HG20 manual settings. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my three-way color corrector. Put the three-way color corrector on here. Three-way color corrector, you can individually do shadows, midtones, and highlights, but I want to click it on master, and I just want to bring the skin tone just a little bit more to regular. Now if we undo the crop, we can kind of see what this has done. Added some green in there. So there's our color corrected for skin. No skin. Skin, no skin. So we got a little bit more green in here. And we can tell, go back to RGB Parade, green has went up. Now what I'm going to do is grab RGB curves, drop those in, and adjust individual colors here. Bring down my greens. About right where red is. Also going to bring down my blue. And there we go. So you can kind of see that difference because it is a little little foggy, a little cloudy out in the dark there. But we still got some green in the trees without it. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this to uh, fit. I don't know, you think still a bit too much? A bit too much? Three way off. So there's that. All right, so that's a little color correction there. Again, it is foggy. You got some darks from before. It's a little bit flat. Now it's not too bad. So there's the before. That's with a three-way color correction for the skin tone, and this is kind of correcting after the skin tone. So nothing. skin tone after skin tone. And this shot pans to the right. Hi, and some of the boat tours are canceled due to the flooding. So here we have the overlook. And you can see all these curves are just about right. Normally a lot of people have their camera and they once they look at it they're like, "Okay, this is what it is. I'll uh, I'll take it." Not knowing that a lot of the stuff on TV is all color corrected. 
So here's that color correction. Let's do one more shot here. Ah, so this one. His face is blown out. Let's go to the vector scope. Get some stuff in the reds, some stuff in the let's say that's what yellows? YL. Greens over here, magentas, cyan, blues. But why see waveform? Oh yeah. There's his face right here, all crushed. Between he's got details in the back of this window back here. But this cheek, this cheek is destroyed. So we can see that. Alrighty. So what we want to do is click, click on the clip, start off with a little bit of fast color corrector. Let's do this one. Fast color corrector. If we go to Luma, we can kind of see what is going to be white, what is going to be black, and what is going to be gray, if there is anything in the shot. I'm going to use my input and output levels to adjust my safe. That's zero. Bring this down to 100. Okay. So this should pretty much be black. This building can be white. That can be a pure white. Even this sign right here and the skin are midtones gray. So if we actually selected our color selection here and went held alt to get more. There's a black. Our grays. Let's see here. Our grays and our whites. Alrighty, so let's see if we go back to composite video. That kind of destroyed everything in here. So let's go control Z, control Z, control Z. There we go. Back to normal. Not too good. Let's stick with the composite. You want to get some good separation, get that detail. Bring this down some. too much saturation drag my whites so you can still see the cheek is uh, still blown out brought a little bit of detail back again we're not adjusting color at all vector scope let's go to the vector scope uncheck check 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 uncheck it's not so blown out. It's in uh, action safe slash not action safe, but uh, broadcast safe colors. Nothing's in the illegal zone, 0 through 100. Now we could do just a bit of color correction here. Drop a crop on top of the clip. Select our crop. Now the right side of the skin is blown out. So let's see if anywhere in the clip he moves to a little bit better position. There we go. So again, we can do a 100% to see. Get a good amount skin in here and we're going to color correct for the skin by going to vector scope Again, it's a little cold out so there's a little bit more red in there the blood is at the surface so we're going to bring this with our fast color corrector 
kind of just use the center dot here and just bring this over a bit. Now again, it kind of makes it look green and nasty. Before and after, before and after. You can almost see the red across the whole thing now. And then we're going to fit it. Now it's kind of got this like greenish nastiness to it. The haze. You can see it moves a lot more closer. And then we're going to finalize this with RGB curves. Go to RGB parade. You can see our green is up here. We bring that down first a little bit. kind of matching the reds, our blues, up as well, so we got this curve the green down a little bit more so it kind of crushes it and our blues alrighty so let's go ahead and do a little uh, split view let's go horse vertical with it put it on the center the left side is what we've done, the right side is what we brought it from, so if we, you can tell that by going, if you go to Luma, the left side is going to be black and white, or show the luminance only, not the actual composite video. So if we shut RGB Parade off, I don't know, I think it uh, has definitely brought out some more detail and gave it a little bit more life to the video here, the image. <clears throat> Let's take off split view, and there we go. Maybe if you wanted to even pop it a little bit, you can add just a bit of a curve. Still even more. I'm looking at these peaks right here. These peaks seem to be pretty even across all three colors, so bringing that in. The only in, thing the Germans had at the, for these months of extended sieges was Coca-Cola. This drink contained water and cocaine at the time. So if we look here, you can kind of see how some of these colors as well kind of popped out. This is with nothing, fast color corrector, and RGB curves. All right, well, hopefully if you stuck around this long, you learned a little something. This is just uh, one way to do some quick color correction in Adobe CS6. Looking at the vector scopes and curves, there's great tutorials all throughout Creative Cow. There's great tutorials on YouTube, and you can get into color grading, especially on like, uh, sites like lynda.com and stuff. So check all those out. I like doing these as like part of my training and helping share thoughts and stuff into it. So any questions, comments, feedback you have, please leave a comment, send me a message, all that good stuff right here on the channel. Thank you for watching.